Jawohl, und, äh, Halli und Hallo und willkommen hier auf meinem Kanal. Ich bin der Chris von I am Kong und ich begrüße euch immer recht herzlich. Schön, dass ihr da seid zu... Ja, wer hätte das gedacht, ne? Return to Monkey Island. Ich war gerade selber so ein bisschen verblüfft, als ich hier die ersten Einstellungen für den Sound eingenommen habe und dass ihr den Untertitel auch mitlesen könnt, denn das Spiel ist in englischer Sprachausgabe, aber mit deutschen Untertiteln. Also ich meine immerhin. Ja, und das Spiel startet tatsächlich einfach so... <lacht> ist schon lustig. Ähm okay, aber jetzt lange Rede, kurzer Sinn. Bevor wir uns jetzt sofort ins Abenteuer reinstürzen, klicken wir einmal, denn das hat das Spiel mir gerade beim ersten Einloggen auch gesagt, äh, erstmal auf das Sammelalbum. Ne? Und ich halte mal kurz meine Klappe und gucken wir mal kurz. Ne? Es dient der Auffrischung. Hey, want to see my mighty pirate scrapbook? It's filled with my adventures. Ah, in my head habe ich Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be a mighty pirate. That's me, Guybrush Threepwood. In the old days, you became a pirate by completing three trials to prove your worth. Treasure hunting is important for any pirate. Mastering sword fighting was more a matter of wits than agility. This is when I met Elaine, the love of my life. She was governor at the time. The test of thievery involved breaking into the governor's mansion. The security was heavy. The pirate leaders were in charge of the three trials, acting as judge, jury, executioner, and devoted grog tasters. Things took an unexpected turn while I was working on the three trials. Elaine was kidnapped and taken to Monkey Island by the nefarious ghost pirate LeChuck. I scraped together a crew. Carla, Otis, and Meathook joined me on my voyage to Monkey Island to save Elaine. LeChuck thought he was in love with Elaine. My first ship was the Sea Monkey. I bought it at Stan's used ships with a letter of credit that I, um, sort of falsified. My first ship was the Sea Monkey. I bought it at Stan's used ships with a letter of credit that I, um... Monkey Island was a steaming volcanic mystery, covered with jungle and not found on any map. You had to brew a special potion just to find Monkey Island. I made some substitutions, but it got us there just the same. You had to brew a special potion just... There were some people living there who claimed to be cannibals, but I think it was just a show for the tourists. On the island was a gigantic monkey head statue with hidden catacombs underneath. LeChuck's ghostly ship was anchored in a lake of lava hidden beneath the island's surface. <laughs> the monkey head opened with a special key that you stuck in its ear. I met an old castaway there, Herman Toothrot. He and the locals wrote a lot of indignant letters to each other. We wound up back on Melee Island for the stunning conclusion to my first big adventure. I made it to the church just in time to stop the wedding. Or so I thought. That turned out Elaine already had everything under control. How does she do that? By then, I had learned that ghosts like LeChuck are vulnerable to root beer. It just trust me, it works, okay? It was the beginning of something magical. Ich finde die kleinen Doodles hier total drollig. <lacht> ah, these are from the time I went to find the treasure of Big Whoop. I met my good friend Wally, who makes maps, and I stole his monocle. Good times. Gute Zeiten. <lacht> I met my good friend Wally, who makes maps. The mysterious voodoo lady at the International House of Mojo taught me to make a voodoo doll, which came in handy more than once. The map to the treasure had been torn into four pieces, which, let's face it, is about as piratey as it gets. Elaine always seems to know when I need her. Again, it came down to just me and LeChuck at the end. He was using magic, but then, so was I. One time, Elaine got turned into a statue. Well, LeChuck was behind it, of course. That guy never gives up. The fact that he turned her into a statue tells me LeChuck doesn't really love Elaine. 
He thinks of her as furniture. I got eaten by a snake. I got buried alive. It was around this time that I met Murray, the allegedly all-powerful demonic skull, after a rousing sea battle. I erupted a volcano on purpose. There's not a lot I wouldn't do for Elaine. Things backfired on LeChuck because Elaine and I got married when it was all over. Game, set, matchmaker. Und hier als Detail, ne? Dieses frisch verheiratet. Nicht richtig schön. This was a great day. Though in retrospect, we shouldn't have had the scum bar handle the catering. This is the daisy we stomped on together. The wedding traditions are weird. That's either Elaine's wedding veil or my handkerchief. We got them to match. I wrote a great haiku for the wedding invitation. I don't know why you have to have candy-coated almonds at a wedding, but apparently you do. Elaine and me together forever. The daggers are symbolic of cutting through troubles. I think. Oh man, this was that crazy time LeChuck teamed up with an Australian billionaire and tried to use a mystical talisman to make Elaine his bride. The ultimate insult wasn't really ultimate or even an insult at all. Or was it? Everything started because they thought Elaine was dead, so they held an election to replace her. I made a goofy monster out of prosthetic body parts. It didn't help with anything, but I had fun doing it. LeChuck and I battled it out on a grand scale that time. LeChuck and I battled it out on a grand scale that time. Then there was the time I accidentally let loose LeChuck's pox over the entire Caribbean. Or so it seemed. I had to wear a hook for a while. It came in handy. Morgan Lafley betrayed me, even after we bonded inside a giant manatee. I should have trusted her less. The death card doesn't usually represent literal physical death, except when it does. I went on trial for my life on four separate charges. I defended myself, of course. Oh, here's that voodoo doll from the end of my Big Whoop adventure. I defeated LeChuck with this. His leg came off as easy as tearing a loaf of bread. <lacht> Jawohl, das war dann das Sammelalbum und so ein bisschen der Zusammen ja, Schnitt ist schon fast äh, zu sagen von den vorhergegangenen Titeln. Wobei, nur für den Fall, dass es noch nicht so mitgekriegt wurde, ne, dieses Spiel, also Return to Monkey Island, äh, spielt inhaltlich bzw. zeitlich so zwischen dem zweiten und dritten Teil. Also eigentlich war das hier oder soll das die ursprüngliche Fortsetzung nach Big Whoop sein. Also nach dem zweiten Teil, ne, so wie sich äh, Ron Gilbert das vorgestellt hat. Ich glaube, Curse of Monkey Island, ne, der dritte Teil, der Zeichentrickteil, wenn man so will, ne, der noch relativ schön gewesen ist, ne, der war dann so, ja, der ging dann so universell irgendwie in so eine ganz andere Richtung. Aber lange Rede, kurzer Sinn, ich will jetzt auch gar nicht so lange schwafeln, ne, hier ist ja schon eh kein Intro gewesen in dem Sinne. Vielleicht kommt was, wenn wir auf neues Spiel drücken. Schauen wir einfach mal, begeben wir uns ins Abenteuer. Return to Monkey Island. Alles klar. <lacht> die ganze Geschichte und der ganze Spaß, aber mit gelegentlichen Rätseln für den vielbeschäftigten Spieler. Mehr Rätsel, schwere Rätsel, einfach affenstark für den Profi-Abenteurer, der alles will. Wir kämpfen uns aber erstmal durch den einfachen Modus. Wobei, ich finde ich äh, nett, dass da... Okay, finde ich gut. Eine unerwartete Geschichte beginnt. Brush. Come over here, gently now. Remove my mask. Will you promise to stop picking on me? All right, all right, I promise. Anything. Just put my leg back on. Hey, you kids. You're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> <laughs> 
What's next? Let's goof on those two. Pretend they're our parents. <laughs> yeah! Sorry we ran off. You were probably worried about murderers and ne'er-do-wells. Don't worry. <laughs> I found him. <laughs> <laughs> um, come on. Let's go. Let's pretend I have powers that make lightning come out of my eyes. It's so lifelike. I wonder if it's real. Sorry, boys, could you stop following us? It's creepy. Yes, yes sir. sir. Come on, I saw a scurvy dog shack back there. Scurvy dogs. I've never had one of those. No way, you have to try one. It's the best thing you'll ever eat in your life. No bullet. Wow. Klicke auf den Boden, um zu laufen. Also bislang, ich muss es an der Stelle einfach mal ansprechen, die Grafik, die wurde äh, extremst bemängelt. Ich muss allerdings sagen, ich mag diese ja, flachen Grafiken, will ich es mal nennen, äh, ziemlich äh, gut eigentlich. Ich mit Shucky. Also erstmal, wir können laufen, wir können machen, wir können gucken. What should we do next? We gotta get to scurvy dogs. I, I can't believe you never had one. Betritt die Scurvy Dog Hütte, indem du die Tür markierst und drückst. Hm. Das Inventar. Ja, und ansonsten, es wirkt ne, wie ein ganz normales Point-and-Click-Adventure. Äh, betritt die, ja, okay, wir, wir, wir treten. Den Zettel lesen. I once got a scurvy dog that was bigger than my head. Okay. It says, return outhouse key when finished, or else. Those glasses? are thicker than the layer of grease on the floor. <laughs> okay, Vordergrund macht Bild gesund. What should we do next? We gotta get to scurvy dogs. I, I can't believe you never had one. You kids better have money. Uh, yeah, we've got all kinds of money. Hühnerfußpommes, mm, saftig knusprig. Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure. If you give me a piece of eight, that's money that grown-ups use. I know what a piece of eight is. Good for you. You can have a couple of dogs if you give me one. Please? Can't you spare something for a couple of hungry kids? <laughs> Listen up, you little moocher. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I don't like kids. I'm an honest businessman trying to make an honest living. I don't need 50 kids a day coming in and wasting my time trying to get me to give them free food. I guess never mind. Hey, I know. Let's look for change in the outhouse across the way. Coins fall out of people's pockets when they sit down in there. Mir, mir, mir gefällt nicht, in welche Richtung die Überlegung geht. <lacht> They put it on a leg to keep you from walking off with it. <lacht> I'll bring this right back, sir. You'd be wise to do that. I got the leg from the last kid who didn't bring back the key. <lacht> okay, nehmen den Schlüssel zum Plumpsklo untersuchen und hier können Some wir meine To-Do-Liste dogs with cheese inside. Okay, gucken wir mal kurz auf die To-Do-Liste. Eine Münze finden. Also hat man hier dann so eine Art Leitfaden dann auch. Äh, alles klar. Ja, das war, so bedeutet wahrscheinlich, ne? Neu. Guck ihn dir an. It unlocks the outhouse outside. Mm -hmm. 
Words don't look like words. But there's a picture of a scurvy dog. I once had the hiccups for four days straight. Im Plums Klo herumspielen. Das sind Texte, die ich verstehe. It's locked. Good thing I've got the key in my pocket. Habt ihr gesehen, wie aber sofort die Tasche hier am Rappeln war? Ich drücke I. Good, you unlocked it. Mm. It isn't a piece of eight, but it's a round piece of metal about the same size and shape as a piece of eight. That's called a slug. It's like a fake coin. <lacht> das, das, das Wort abpulen. Oh, die Spiele. A fake coin is almost as good as a real coin. Mm. Ach, Münzen im Dreckhaufen suchen. Also ich sag euch. Ich coins and I'm not putting lustig. my hands in that. Did you know you can keep it? Ugh, what is this stuff? It smells the same as the toilet. Please wash hands before leaving outhouse. Hier mit. Lecker was flicken wir. In French. Chucky, why don't you look in the toilet? No way. You do it. Okay. Gross. Boah, wirklich. Gross. Gross. I'm not sure how we can get scurvy dogs without any pieces of eight. We might have all we need. I don't think that guy can see very well. Könnte es so einfach sein. Now what? Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure. If you give me a piece of eight. What can we get with this? Hmm. Tastes like a piece of eight. Enough for a couple of scurvy dogs if you want. Perfect! Take them, boy. <laughs> what are you getting? <laughs> what? Just kidding. Here's yours. <laughs> this is the perfect food. What do you want to do now? I don't know. What do you want to do? Ja, was wollen wir machen? Ne? Wir sind äh, dann geht's zum Strand. Guck mal da im Hintergrund, ne? Wie also eher wie wir Ball spielen sollen. So. Rolli. Sounds real. Hey, Chucky, get ready to run. I guess they don't like visitors. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Pirate. Um, hello? Boo! Ha! <laughs> He's dead to the world. <laughs> I wonder if this is drinking water. Chucky Fisher. Hey, uh, Chucky, stand over here for a minute. No way. Exhibit removed. Aww. Let's not go back there again. We'll just get yelled at. Okay, we have a look at our to-do list. Oh, wait. A I have an extra dog. toot in the back. I can feel it with my tongue. So good! So, herumalbern and erkunden. Ne? Unsere echten Eltern finden. That's clear. Did 
you know your feet won't smell if you don't wash them? That's my friend D. Hey D. Hey Chucky. What are you jerk faces up to? We just got here. I'm making a list of stuff to do. Give me that. I'm an expert planner. There. Perfect. See you around the park, Sidheads. Ja, ne, das erste Adventure mit äh, Nebenquest. <lacht> oh, alles klar. Äh, den Anker ansehen, in einen Rennen schlagen, die Enten füttern, ne, etwas Soße hinzufügen, Schwertkampf üben, alles klar. Ne, Unterquest. Ich kann auch T drücken. Ah, T wie To-Do wahrscheinlich. Anchor? <sighs> that just shows how little you know about anchors. This one's not a very good example. You'd know that if you read as much about anchors as I have. Did you know that anchors originally weren't designed to hold ships in place? They were used in combat, shot from cannons as a grapple when you were trying to board another ship. They started making them bigger and bigger because they would do more damage that way. Then people noticed what happened when you missed the other ship and hit the sea bottom instead. The current bow-shaped design is actually less effective than the sharper V-shaped design that was popular last century. But the older design went out of fashion after sailors started to think the letter V was bad luck. You can still find the old kind around sometimes, but collectors have grabbed most of them. On a modern anchor, if you look close, you can tell that one side is a little larger than the other. That's to prevent what's called plummeting, where the anchor goes down too evenly and then it doesn't catch well on the bottom. The little flanges at the tips are at different angles to make it twist on the way down for the same reason. Most anchors these days are made of iron and you have to recast them like twice a year because they rust. About 30 years ago, somebody thought of a way to get around that by making them out of wood instead. All kinds of people invested a lot of money in these wooden anchor companies. But the only way they could keep them from floating was to attach another anchor. And so they gave up and went back to the old way. The word anchor comes from the Sanskrit word nagara, meaning city. They're called that because when you stop in the middle of the ocean, it's like you've made port at an invisible city. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of an expert on anchors. I read a lot. <lacht> Mich interessiert, wie viel von der Geschichte tatsächlich wahr ist. <lacht> ja, alles klar. Äh hey Chucky, wanna race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three, two, one. Moment, okay, mit, mit T geht's auch wieder weg. Okay, Enten füttern. Hey, hands off! I wonder what's in that basket. Let's find out. What do you think you're doing? Kids these days, you have no regard for personal property. And no respect for your elders. I have half a mind to give you a piece of my mind. And I've got the other half. Gotta run! How rude. Give it some of your bread. I stole it from that couple. Now it's gestohlen. Nicht füttern. Don't feed the duck. It looks full. Pick the four leaf clovers. <laughs> As if. Let's look for a four leaf clover. Okay. Good luck with that. I found one. Ah, 
awesome. There was still one left? Darn. At home, I've got a collection of old scurvy dog sticks that fills a whole shoebox. Soße, Schwertkampf, ich, äh, Wunsch, Unwünsch. Ich finde es ziemlich drollig. Let's be frank. You can never hope to beat me. No way. You'll never catch up to my level. I win. I win. Uh. -uh. <laughs> you guys are both pretty weak. Well, anyway, that was fun. Some places you go have scurvy dogs with cheese inside. Do you like to race? I'd rather be in charge of a race than be in it. Martin. Some things are better left unknown. Some things <laughs> are better left unknown. Right. What's this it's red blob on the ground? That's ketchup. It's supposed to be really good with scurvy dogs. Ernsthaft? You should put that on your scurvy dog. Mm. I never thought I'd ever find one. Ja, rein damit. <lacht> Köstlich. Yuck. I don't think that was ketchup. Whoops. So, sich etwas am Wunschbrunnen. Ja, okay, wir sind äh, gut drin, glaube ich. I should find a coin to throw in. Maybe I should throw this down the wishing well. Bevor du deinen Wunsch aufbrauchst, solltest du vielleicht das Spiel speichern, damit du deinen Spielstand laden und einen anderen Wunsch ausprobieren kannst. Äh, ja, okay. Super Wünsche. I wish for another scurvy dog. Those things are bad for you. Whoa. Oh, okay. Told you so. Aber auch dieser Hinweis, ne? total lustig irgendwie. I wish Chucky had a mustache. Ah! Whoa! Wobei, auf der anderen Seite ne, ganz schön umständlich. Okay, das finde ich irgendwie fies, aber wir werden wahrscheinlich drauf drücken müssen. Ähm I wish for a cool plant. A plant? What a waste of a wish. Ooh. 
<laughs> I take it back. That was the best. I wish we could speak backwards. Or what is yes, you know. Yes, well, and that helps it. Yes, you got. That was fun. Ah, oh, man, it wore off. Too bad. You made more sense than usual. No, oh, and now comes the fiese wish. Disappear. What? Hey, neat. Ouch. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on, get in lesson. Hey, Dad. I want to see two scurvy dogs at the same time. Hello, Mr. Threepwood. Hey, kids. Having fun? Yeah. We got scurvy dogs. Those have toenails and stuff in them. Ugh, I read about it. And we were playing your adventures. We just did Big Whoop. Big Whoop. Oh, boy. That takes me back. I like it when Chucky asked me to put his leg back on. He says it really funny. You guys always make up the craziest stuff for the ending of that story. It's fun. But you can't just change it around. That's not how storytelling works. A lot of your stories don't feel like they're finished at the end. What do you mean? Well, like, there's this one that you call The Secret of Monkey Island, where you went to Monkey Island and fought LeChuck. Oh, that story has a great ending. There's punching and fireworks. I thought you liked that one. But you never did find the secret. Not the real one. Sure, but that's not what that story was about. Kids, let me tell you a story that is about finding The Secret of Monkey Island. Is this a long story? <laughs> I think maybe I gotta go use the bathroom or something. Yeah, I have to go um, walk my tarantula. Maybe I should go with them. No, no, stick around. This is a good one. See, there was a rumor going around that my old nemesis, LeChuck, had somehow discovered the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. I knew I had to get it before he did, so I went to Melee to get my own expedition started and beat him to the punch. Ah, 
feels good to be back on Melee Island, the hub of pirating in the Caribbean, where every good expedition begins. I'll see some old pals and get things rolling. Or sailing in this case. Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Remember me? Haven't seen you in a while, Threepwood. What have you been up to? Well, you know, freebooting mostly, swashing buckles and so on. But now I'm getting an expedition together to find the secret of Monkey Island. Oh, you're sailing with LeChuck. What? LeChuck's here in Melee? Is there widespread panic? Are people evacuating? Ah, he doesn't seem interested in carnage at the moment. Ship's just here taking on supplies and crew, as far as I can tell. Well, anyway, no, I'm not sailing with LeChuck. You know my history with him. He's an evil zombie ghost pirate, terror of the seas, and sometimes the land. A nefarious, conniving, murdering scallywag. A depraved, ruthless villain. And a loud talker. And I'm not those things. They say opposites attract, but what do I know? We've been enemies for my whole career. Everywhere I go, there he is. He plagues me. He's my nemesis. Funny. He said the same thing about you. That guy steals all my best ideas. Are you sure it isn't the other way around? Seems like he was here first. I don't know how he found out, but I'm sure he's just doing this to get one up on me. LeChuck kidnapped my wife. He's always had designs on her. I sailed to Monkey Island to find them and get her back. Oh, I thought you weren't married yet when that happened. And didn't she more or less rescue herself? That's not the point. <laughs> I'm mounting my own voyage. Mine. Well, you'd better get cracking then. The Chuck's loading up on the outer dock as we speak. Well, I'm gonna hire a ship and a crew and beat him to the punch. Just as soon as I can get someone to back the venture. I'm a little short on funds at the moment. In that case, you'll want to go talk to the pirate leaders at the Scum Bar. Exactly. That's why I came to Melee. It'll be great to see those old guys again. We'll knock back a grog and hash out the details. Scum bar. By the docks. Long table in the back. I know where I'm going. We'll see. <laughs> Alles klar. Ich wünschte, ich hätte es auf die andere Seite gemacht. Äh Pausiert. Okay, ähm, dann mache ich an der Stelle jetzt erstmal diesen hier. Hier, weil es gut aussieht. Und dann drücken wir hier nochmal drauf. Ja, Leute, ich bedanke mich bei euch für euer Interesse und fürs Zuschauen. Ich hoffe, ihr hattet ein bisschen Spaß. Seid auch beim nächsten Mal mit dabei bei The Return to Monkey Island. Ne, nur Return to Monkey Island. Ne? Ich bin der Chris von Ayam Kogen und ich sag mal, passt auf euch auf, bleibt gesund. Bis zum nächsten Mal.